Hello everybody, it's Crush City, and I'm here to save your back today with a few pointers that might defy conventional training nowadays. If you look at a lot of the instruction, a lot of it is focused on keeping your lower body not turning as much and turning your upper body a lot to create this torque. Conventionally, they want you to turn your hips 45 degrees and your back 90 degrees, but if you can turn your back more and your hips less, it's even more magical for this X factor that they want to create, which destroys your lower back. Now, I recently watched an episode of Me and My Golf, and Andy and Piers were actually comparing the two ways to potentially have your left knee work. One is keeping it very stationary, and the other method is more of the Bubba Watson method, where the left knee moves a lot, which is what a lot of the golfers did in the past. The poster boy for keeping your left knee steady and not turning much is Jason Day. And you know what Jason Day has? Tons of back problems. I'll let you think about that. Now let's look at one of the best players out there now who's won two majors, two masters, Bubba Watson. He doesn't have any lower back issues. How does he do it? It's all on the left knee. Bubba has his left knee face well behind the ball at the top of his backswing, and he also lets his left heel come off the ground. Now to me, that feels very comfortable, and I can hang out here all day long. I don't feel any need to rush my, my downswing or my transition. But if I do a conventional swing where I keep my left side down and my left knee pointing forward, I feel a lot of tension, my back hurts, and I want to get out of that position as soon as possible. Therefore, a rushed downswing or a sloppy transition. One of the most guilty instructors of preaching not moving the left knee is David Ledbetter. I've even seen him do an uh, instructional article where he says, practice swinging with one arm while the other arm is keeping the left knee stationary. Hey, bro, you trying to ruin people's backs? David Ledbetter's claim to fame is training Nick Faldo back in the 90s. But Nick Faldo, when he was younger, used to take ballet lessons. How many guys have the flexibility of a ballet man person? Not many. So today, I want you to all try this at home or on the driving range next time you're there. Instead of having your left knee facing forward at the top of your backswing, I want you to let it point well behind the ball and even let your left heel come up. This will allow you to naturally get into the squat position and hit a good shot. Let's look at instructors like David Ledbetter. This guy has taken out more backs than insert your joke here. A lot of traditional golf instruction advice tells you to keep your left knee stationary to create torque in the backswing, which to me is crazy. You're gonna blow your back out. You're gonna need a chiropractor. And you might have to quit golf, which is the greatest tragedy of them all.